Mumbai, the financial capital of our country, has received incessant rainfall, which has resulted into widespread waterlogging in various parts of the city. The BMC has said that Mumbai has recorded over 300 mm of rainfall in various places, which has disrupted the lives of locals. Few train and bus services have also been cancelled and schools and colleges have been closed today in order to avoid inconvenience to students. NDRF has also been deployed in various parts of the city and Disaster Management Authority has been kept on an alert. Meanwhile, Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Eknath Shinde, has also chaired a review meeting to discuss the floods situation. Now, this is, of course, uh, an episode that happens every year. Although the metropolis has been expanding at a fast pace, Mumbai has uh, certainly not got its act together. It gets flooded every year. In the past decade, there have been four massive floods in the years of 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2023. Let's quickly uh, throw this open to our uh, panelists joining us live. Naveen Kumar Bhatnagar, former DIG NDRF, is live with us. Brigadier BK Khanna, former member NDMA, is joining us live. Radlakshmi Joshi, political analyst, is live with us. Brunali Deshmukh, senior lawyer, also joins the broadcast. Let me make a start with you first, Naveen Bhatnagar. Uh, clearly, no lessons learned. The monsoon has hit Mumbai and incessant rainfall once again has led to waterlogging in various parts of the city. Yeah. So, but they are not uh, taking any lesson, especially the state government. Uh, after so many instructions and uh, the order of the Honorable Court uh, is very clear about it, and, but they are not taking care about it. They are very casually, they are taking. In, in fact, in the month of January, they should start the survey of the drainage system, which they have failed. And in the month of February, they should uh, allot the work order. And in the month of March, they should uh, check and complete, start completing the job. Uh, you see, now the drainage system is not completed. Still now, it is work is going on. That is why the water logging system is there. Water logging is going on. I am not worried about this water logging. I am worried about the main holes, which are kept open uh, to uh, uh, take out the water uh, from the this high rise area and all this thing. But that uh, main holes are the very, very uh, dangerous about it. So I will request from the state government and the authorities who are uh, listening to me that please, uh, this time, uh, make some uh, some uh, you can say a red flag or a pardon of that particular area uh, where main holes are open uh, because uh, unnecessary and uh, death should not occur uh, because last year also uh, two or three deaths were uh, reported so but uh, this time it should not happen again so this uh, uh, red flag uh, they should immediately start keeping on this uh, open uh, main do main holes that is why it is a safety measure in which you can do. Otherwise, there is a long-term process of uh, repairing the uh, nalas and uh, your uh, drainage system and all these things, which they should start in the month of January, which they have failed. That is why this havoc system, this instance is being reported. Yeah, please. Absolutely. And, and you know, which is why these measures then become reactive, Brigadier Khanna, with the deployment of NDRF, with the deployment of you know, the uh, uh, other administrative people for rescue and relief with the, uh, you know, Navy and the Army and the Air Force being put on alert as well. Uh, this, this is all reactive measures. The government, the authorities there, the municipal corporation is clearly not proactive. Why is that? Uh, no, the, thank you very much uh, for inviting me to your channel. Uh, uh, let, let us see if, you know, what are the basic causes that you very rightly said. So. Uh, you know, the basic cause here is this is the, which, uh, the unplanned urbanization. What is basically taking place, the rivers are get, getting into the, you know, when they get into the uh, the sea or the ocean, and then when this uh, delta is made, a number of channels uh, are only, and then put the, the water naturally goes into the sea. And but that delta area is now having a reconstruction system. So the water, there's a blockage. Yeah. Secondly, the Mithi River, and there are see, more uh, rivers also there. Uh, there, of course, uh, uh, it goes through uh, uh, the, in fact, uh, uh, in the Mumbai, and uh, never desilting is taking place. Both sides, of course, slums areas which are there. So, with that, when there is no, I mean, uh, uh, the desilting is taking place, there will be a proposal. Only because 
the organization is taking place thickly, so there is no infiltration of the water inside. So what is happening on the surface? Only when the rain comes there, then it doesn't seep in. So it basically, that, no. Um, I mean, there are a number of other reasons also. We can uh, continue that only. But two or three, what are the measures which should be taken? Yes, only one is there. Yes, we can keep on blaming the government. They did not do this thing also. Only. And but I also take it here that what is the participation of the, uh, in fact, the public as such. Take the public along. Take them also. Let, tell them what is required to be done before, during, and after the disaster. So that can happen with the help of the NDRF. That can be help of the, the SDRF. Uh, and the NDMA, along with the NDRF, of course, we've been conducting a number of mock exercises. I myself have done a number of mock exercises along with the, the NDRF in Bombay itself. And, and uh, uh, for floods of the urban flooding, which is taking place, you see, so we did it. You know, so that the public also knows what is required on, uh, to be done uh, before that only. Drainage, uh, very, uh, rightly said, also, yes, the drainage. Uh, uh, is that and in this uh, drainage system, I would also like to say here in the Indian uh, context, uh, the drain that is a storm water drainage which has been done is basically from 12 to 20, uh, and 20 millimeters. But what is happening there, the rains, rains are basically much more than that. Actually. So, with the, the, uh, the storm of the uh, the uh, drains, etc., the storm water drains, etc., they cannot uh, take away this water. So, naturally, it goes over to other things. That is um, the, uh, another the, uh, reason is there only. Uh, other uh, of our uh, remedial measures, uh, from the point of view of the assembly concern, mutual cooperation of uh, Mumbai is basically responsible for the state governments. The government, uh, the uh, cooperation of Bombay, which is responsible for the assembly in Mumbai, etc. And this, as, as well as the Calcutta, these are the only state uh, that which uh, where the state law, where the mutual cooperation is, they are the one who are responsible for the disaster amendment. And uh, where uh, they should uh, do it, there only that before the rainy season, also all these drains which are there, only they should be able to, in fact, you know, clean it up. There only they should be able to get yeah, from the, their only waste for uh, the management which is taking place, where, of course, all the construction material, all the other, uh, whether the uh, uh, by, uh, by the industry, uh, by the, by the, the uh, public asset. So yes. that is also where, where of they should be um, controlled. But these are SOPs, only. sir, that are known and are discussed every year. The problem is that action is not taken, Rad Lakshmi Rashi. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? We, you know, monsoon comes at this particular season every year. It's not that it's come early or that it's come late. It comes at this time every year. But Mumbai learns no lessons. And the authorities rather learn no lessons. Ah, yes, very true there. Uh, you know, this, uh, uh, strangely, this uh, this is something that I've been observing right from my childhood in Mumbai and the suburbs. You know, this has been happening. This is something that has been happening over and over the years. And uh, yet, you know, governments come and governments go. And, uh, you know, the situation is uh, the, almost the same, I would say. Only uh, there are a few uh, flooding points that have either, you know, uh, some of them have either diminished or some of them have actually increased. So, uh, you know, firstly, let me just uh, uh, brief you about how uh, the government says that they are uh, dealing with the situation, the state government. So, uh, you know, the uh, chief minister and the deputy chief minister, they have mentioned that uh, the, the city of Mumbai and suburbs have received, uh, you know, an, um, uh, an uh, uh, a very huge amount of rainfall that is to the tune of 300 mm in the in six hours and in fact uh, and in uh, in a matter of four hours in the early morning it was something like two more than 250 mm in some parts of the city so that is quite a huge amount for any city to actually ba battle so then and then there are some points in mumbai which are always you know some very crucial points so these points have definitely got flooded and now what the, what the chief minister has said is that the uh, railways, which is this, uh, you could call it as the lifeline of Mumbai, the local railways, they are using more than 200 pumps themselves and the BMC is using some 481 pumps to pump out all the water. And also then there are some pumping stations that have been made and the Indian railways actually, uh, 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 some three years back, uh, what they did is they have done some uh, some system some initiative they have taken up an initiative with uh, iit mumbai where they made some micro tunneling under the 
uh, railway tracks to get rid of this water at certain points, like especially in some areas like Sanders Road, etc., where you have always been seeing a lot of water logging. So this, uh, there are some of these uh, measures that have been taken, but I would say that the, you know, this is something like uh, putting a bandaid to an injury, and uh, maybe because the precaution was not already taken. And uh, you know, the, the what I would say is that the reason why any of this water is getting, uh, you know, there is this water logging is because that uh, uh, water is not getting drained off in the uh, in the speed in which the water is actually getting collected. So th there is definitely a problem in the drainage system there. So that st storm water drain is a very integral part, which is supposed to be there under all the road networks. So if that is why you see that most of these roads nowadays, you see that they are waterlogged. And th it was there earlier also, it is there today also. So there is this system of, uh, you know, the uh, storm water drainage, which definitely there is something wrong in all the metro cities, I would say, not just in Mumbai. But uh, see, the thing is that in Mumbai, you see that there is this huge uh, real estate development. And also there is not much uh, focus given to the town planning at the same time. So when I say town planning, it is about how these storm water drains, how they are going to be actually collecting water from different levels in the city so it is up the the storm water drain is supposed to go at a certain slope and it is supposed to take the water out at a certain speed so that they are supposed to be collecting water uh, from different parts of the city and taking it out into the sea so that actually for that you have to have the roads at a certain level you have to have the houses at a certain level so all of that has to be in proper coordination. So that is not happening in all the places do there. And to add to it, there is a lot of concretization. So, you know, earlier, whatever water was seeping into the ground, you don't have that going into the ground. So you have the system where these cities, they are, you know, they are, uh, uh, they are in a drought. Like you had uh, even Delhi, you had so much of water cut there was such a drastic city uh, drastic situation for water and then a few days later you see the city is flooded with water so that is because the water level has actually gone uh, absolutely down because uh, you know the water is not going down into the soil so i would say that one you know there are a few solutions to this where you know you have to tackle it on a town planning uh, uh, level and at the same time, you have to uh, make sure that you have a lot of rainwater harvesting systems in place in different uh, areas. Like you have to have some holding points where you have all this water getting drained off and getting hold held there perhaps so that you have all this rainwater getting utilized in a very constructive way. And now what is happening is in, in uh, Mumbai, sometimes you have this uh, high tide also coinciding with the heavy rain. So all of that is a big mess. And then there is this huge situation of the Miti River again, which, you know, for so many decades, actually, what was happening is that there was, a, a, you know, more and more encroachment there. And unfortunately, as you may see it, uh, most people know that this has to be tackled, but then that this is something that nobody wants to touch because then they, these are a potential uh, you could say vote banks for most political parties. So people don't want to get into all those encroachment areas along the Miti River. So all of this, the, uh, it has a heavy toll on how all the water is going to get drained out. So, and uh, I hear that there was some uh, uh, some kind of blocks also so that some uh, uh, water doesn't go yes. into the Miti River, which has actually also caused a new flooding sites. And that was happening during the earlier government. So, uh, you know, so this this is why I'm saying that, you know, this is a collective responsibility of all governments, the past, present and, you know, whoever is going to come into the future. So you have to have this town planning intact where you have to make sure that all these systems are in place. You cannot look at it as uh, these things are not in isolation. Under the roads, you have a lot of services running. You have water supplies, you have sanitation, you have storm water drainage, you have electricity, uh, and uh, nowadays you have all the uh, internet services also. So all of that has to be looked at in in a totality in as a part of town planning, Uday, and that is what is lacking in most of these cities. 
and that actually if that is uh, resolved i think that most of these uh, flooding issues all over the country would definitely be taken care of and i hope that that happens soon or that all right let me uh, in fact take that quickly across uh, to mrinali deshmukh as well mrinali deshmukh uh, you know for uh, for citizens of course mrinali can you hear me okay i think we've just lost uh, mrinali's connection there but uh, let me take that back across to navin batnagar navin batnagar uh, uh, at the end of the day of course now a uh, high level meeting of course is being chaired by the chief minister now as i was saying earlier reactive measures are being taken unfortunately we're just not being proactive but still let's hope for the better how can the situation be improved so that uh, we can see you know some sort of relief uh, uh, by the next few days for people of mumbai because the monsoon is currently you know it, it's it's not even halfway through there's going to be rain in the next month successively how do we ensure that they get relief by the next few days what measures are immediately needed to be taken for at least a short term solution yes we do need to think long term but right now what short term measures immediately are needed so especially the ndrf sdrf rv navy all are there they are helping the people so our first priority is to shift the people low lying area people who are residing in the low lying area where heavy flood is there so uh, we should shift the people from that uh, their homes and uh, their places to a safer place higher place where uh, they will be provided food medicine and other things also especially the lady children and uh, elderly people they should immediately be shifted and uh, whatever uh, rescue is required for them or uh, aid is required from them they can approach the state government as drf and drf and definitely all the time day and night and drf is working on the job they will help the people and uh, all the amenities will be provided to them they should not have any fear in the meantime government should start their pumps heavy duty pumps and uh, water should be taken out from the uh, main holes and uh, uh, tuta nalas and uh, other uh, this area also low lying area especially where water is stacked uh, very badly situation is worse so there uh, heavy duty pumps uh, are required so i hope uh, government is on the job and uh, especially the maharashtra government they are serious about uh, about it mr shinde and uh, other people they are uh, seriously on the job and uh, to me to my information all the uh, ministry of maharashtra they all are worried about it and they are on the round the 24 into 7 they are on the job all their mlas and other uh, staff ias ips all the people are on the job and uh, moreover sdrf and drf uh, navy all are on the job uh, to help the people and definitely in this time uh, this thing we can do and uh, but my uh, again i will repeat that main hole should be um, demarc and uh, make some uh, red flags all the main holes because now the main holes are open uh, so definitely and you can't see the main holes due to this uh, heavy flush and uh, and uh, people can uh, go down in that holes and uh, they can die they will die so definitely this uh, red flags are required to be posted yes. to fix there it's by request from no that's a very good Canada. that's a very good suggestion immediately manuals must be earmarked to ensure that they do not become death trap for citizens of mumbai for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon